Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Monday, the 14th of October, 2019. I'm Jeannie. So glad you decided to come along for the ride. Well, first things first, happy Columbus Day, fellow Americans. If you were fortunate enough to get the day off today, I hope you enjoy your time off. And also, happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends. Yes, I did not forget. I remember that this is a day that you celebrate as a holiday as well. So happy days to all my friends out there. Well, I'd like to talk to you briefly about something that really impressed my heart yesterday at church. And that was when my pastor, Lyle Peluso, uh, from the Dothan Vineyard Church, shared on one another's. Now, in the Bible, there are 59 times in the New Testament where the term one another or each other is used and they all have very special significance. So we were talking about all the different one another so I decided it would be fun to go online and look up what all those one another's are. And you know at the end of the service Pastor had all these index cards and he had us randomly take them and and try to uh, look them over and, and try to uh, put into practice for the rest of the week so that we could tell stories the following Sunday about how the one another we got that we hopefully could practice all week long and put special attention to how that affected our lives. And boy, let me tell you, just the one that I got, I knew that I knew that I knew that it was something that I needed to work on and something that I needed to uh, hold close to my heart, and it was very special. But anyway, as I started looking these up, I thought, these are all really, really good. So I'm going to read some one another's to you, what it tells us to do in, in the Bible. Be at peace with one another. Uh, be devoted to one another, honor one another, live in harmony with one another, um, accept one another, instruct one another, uh, greet one another. Uh, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. Don't be so hurry to scarf, in such a hurry to scarf down your food. Wait, okay? And that's, that's preferring and respecting one another. See, a lot of them are tied together. Uh, have equal concern for each other or one another. Serve one another. Now, there's a few things also that are listed in here that are telling you what not to do to one another. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this one. If you keep on biting and devouring one another, you will be destroyed destroyed by one another. Oh my goodness. Wow. Listen to this. Forgive one another. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Be patient with one another, bearing one another in love. Speak to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Submit to one another. In humility, consider one another better than you would yourself. Bear one another's burdens. Listen to this. Do not lie to one another. Encourage one another. Build one another up. Don't slander one another. Don't grumble against one another. And pray for one another. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling, it says. And listen to this. I love this. Each one should use whatever gift he has to be received by serving one another. Wow, there's one there I skipped, but it is the one that appears more than the others within those 59 one another's in the New Testament, and that is to love one another. You know, it's just too easy to make it all about me, to focus on yourself, to say what's What's the one thing that shines the most in my universe? And if it's me, then something is wrong. It doesn't say over and over again, do this for yourself, do this for yourself, do this for yourself. Now, of course, you do want to love yourself, and you do want to have concern for yourself, and you, and you want to be patient with yourself. Of course, that's very important. But the point I'm making here is, this is a big old world we're living in. We've got billions and billions of people. Respect love, show courtesy, honor them. So next time you find yourself being a little impatient or, or you know, turning it and making any situation all about you, stop and think, 
what the Bible has to say and start practicing a few one another's in your life, okay? Now, go out and be a blessing to someone today, to one another, because you might end up being the only one who is. Can you imagine if you were the only person who showed love and kindness and blessing to somebody today? That may, that person may be on their last uh, nerve and, and, and someone just got on it and you go out there and you bless them and you're kind to them. Wow, what a difference that might make in their life today, okay? So don't forget to do that. Also, listen, a way you can bless me is by being a, a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Jeannie Saylor, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time another take two is posted. Okay, and uh, now think about the whole week all the different one and others that I listed. And, you know, you can Google this yourself. It shows up in several different search engines. Start thinking about it and say, are there areas in my life where I'm lacking being that way to one another? Or maybe I've too much uh, been the negative way to somebody? Have I been too harsh and judgmental towards one another's? Okay, well then, work on it. What better time than the present? All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. You have a blessed, marvelous Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.